Hmm. This is gonna be a short episode because I didn't like it started what are you on the phone. For, here it, here is. it is. Take a Take look, a look right, right here. here. Although the traces have been completely buried in the sand, there are footprints here. From the, From the size, size and shape, shape they, belong they belong to an, to an adult, adult male. male. This, this pattern, pattern is a common, is a common one, one from this from area. area. Local, Local shoes. shoes. This was probably someone from the village. The scent is quite faint, but still extant. The footprints head in that direction. But who would come looking for Grandpa? He doesn't have any friends. We'd have to ask whoever lured him away with the incense. Hmm. Huh? So you can lure someone away with just a scent? Hey! What's wrong with liking good food? Everyone's got something they love in life! Exactly. Most scholars are fond of incense, since the smell supposedly helps them clear their minds and discover new knowledge. Even deep within the clutches of madness, they still yearn for their knowledge-seeking days, and will follow the scent whenever it presents itself. No... Grandpa... So, someone's taking advantage of their weakness? Huh... Still... Why would anyone want to abduct all the scholars? Yeah. Are the rumors really true? Could the disappearance of all the mad scholars have something to do with the radicals? It's highly likely. Please, you have to save my grandpa. Grandpa's never done anything wrong. Please help him. Sounds like we'd better help get him back. Don't you worry, Isak. We won't let whoever took him get away with it. Let's head to Aru Village and inform Candace and the others about what we learned here. After that, we'll set off to find the scholars. Ooh. Can I just teleport over there? I got shit to do. Probably would be better. You know what? I should have teleported to fucking Leeway. Because then I could have done the teleporter thing there. And then jump from there to go to the thing. It would still be a walk and a half, but it would still be a much straighter shot than trying to fucking figure out. But whatever. <sighs> Add Astro. Thank you for completing to. Hmm. Add Astro. I guess I got the expert, the expedition. So now I'm gonna go on an account other than this account. And then while we're here, what's the hurry? Tomorrow is so complicated. I don't know why it needs to be so complicated. <clears throat> Wait, is it this building? Yeah, it's probably this building. I'm so used to going from the bottom. I mean, from the, like the teleporter up. Hmm. 
so the petals coming out nicely. I could either like, huh, I need to find the zipper, or I could just leave it like it is and just settle for it. But I kind of want it to be like a closed thing. But I don't know. Right. The darker fabric definitely looks a lot better. That'd be my choice, too. For that, Candace, we've got a lot to tell you. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Oh, Dia's here, too. Where's my husband? Like You bet. So, everything goes smoothly? Reasonably. Hmm? I'll hate them didn't go with you? We haven't seen him at all. Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier and figured he was investigating with you. I guess he must have gone off on his own. Did you find out anything useful? I see. So someone used a kind of incense to lead the exiled scholars away from the village. The resurrection of King Deshret? First I've heard of it. Far as I know, the kind of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. No seller would be able to make a profit here. Not to mention making incense is a labor-intensive process. You won't see anybody in the desert with the patience to make or sell something that requires that kind of effort. It seems someone from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. Makes sense. Hmm. So what should we do then? Do we go back to the academia and search for leads there? If it was any other day, that would be your next logical step. But today, you've got me on your team, so you get an extra tip. Didn't you say that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or two about these radicals he mentioned. If Paimon remembers correctly, the leader of the radicals is some guy called Delavar. Ah, yeah. Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Jabari, the duck-tailed bearded crook. The whole lot of them are known around these parts. I feel like I've heard these names somewhere before. These guys have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher life gets, the more they want to believe in King Deshred. Way they see it, King Deshred's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the Academia. Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Anyway, that's my guess why they've chosen to become radicals. Tia! You're amazing! You really know this place inside and out! Hmm. Twinking at me, we wish it'd stick quiet. <laughs> no Merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable investment. Let's head out. Now hold on, you're staying right here, Sino. Why? Aru Village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. I'd bet word about you has already gotten out. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive on making connections out here. T compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. But that also makes it a whole lot easier for me to gain the locals' trust. I need to go around and ask some questions. But it'll be difficult if you're with me. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we've got a plan. The Traveler and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the Mad Scholars have been taken. Sino, you'll have to stay in the village and continue investigating on your own. All right! Sounds like a plan! <sighs> or 
Alrighty. So. Uh, I'm debating. First, actually, no. I've got eight minutes. I might as well. Use that Come on, time. let's get moving. So we'll head to Rebot or whatever. And then do a little bit of the mission. And then we'll end the episode there. Because, I, like I said, this is going to be a short episode because I didn't plan on recording. It's just Sino decided he wanted to start talking. And I was like, well, fuck. Well, here we are again! Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Uh. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's almost unreal. I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? What? It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, Almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia believes we're underserving. Geniuses like Satari are one in a million. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate, even though the academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. That's terrible. I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. I understand how she fears, so I hope she doesn't do anything. Hey, Dia! Uh, you're not thinking about doing anything scary, are you? Uh, no, not at all. This place just gets me thinking, that's all. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Yep! We gotta catch those! Shh! Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful what you say. We don't want anyone to find out what we're here for. Our mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. Alright. So, with that, I'm going to end this, like I said, this episode was going to be short. So for now, we're on this episode here. So for now, Tiny Situ is setting up.